Hello Sutton Scholars and Second Grade Scholars. It's Mrs. Sutton here, ready to give you a quick math mini lesson. All right, let's jump straight on in. So our target is, I will solve subtraction word problems with unknown starts. What's the action word in there? You got it, it is solve. I'm in a box, solve. And solve just means that we are going to find that solution. Find that solution. When I say solve, you say find the solution. Solve. Find the solution. Awesome. And what are we going to solve today? Subtraction word problems. Subtraction is another word, another way for saying minusing. All right. And the last key vocabulary in that learning target is unknown starts. Whenever you hear me say Unknown starts. I want you to give me the home. Oh, I don't know. Unknown starts. It's because we don't know. We don't know what that number is. Unknown starts means the number that the problem started with. We don't know it yet. And that's what we're going to find out. We're going to solve. All right. So how are we going to judge whether or not we're successful today is um, through our learning target, I can use an addition equation to find the unknown start of a subtraction equation. What's the verb in there again? What are we going to do? We are going to use and find. All right. So addition means that we are going to turn that subtraction, that minus problem into a altogether problem. What's the add-in plus the add-in equals the sum. And we have learned that since the beginning of the second grade with our fact family triangles. All right, so let's jump straight on in. Remember from Ready Math, that we have a three reads routine. So we're gonna read this problem three times and each time I'm gonna ask a different question. Mrs. Sutton had a number of pages to read for her homework assignment, which is very true. On Monday, she read 156 pages. So, so for the rest of the week, she had 202 pages left to read. How many pages did Mrs. Sutton have to read for her homework? Question number one. What is this problem all about? You've got it. Who's the character? Mrs. Sutton. What does she have to do? Read a lot of pages. All right. Now let's read it a second time. And this time as we read it for the second time, I want you to put on your goggles and you're going to help me figure out what are we trying to solve in this problem? Let's do it. Mrs. Sutton had a number of pages to read for her homework assignment. On Monday, she read 156 pages. So far, so for the rest of the week, she had 202 pages left to read. How many pages did Mrs. Sutton have to read for her homework assignment? Remember that question? Our focus question is, what do we have to find out? You've got it. And it's glaring at you right in green. We're trying to figure out how many pages did Mrs. Sutton have to read for her homework? This is a true story. Now for our third read. I really want you to put some magnifying glasses on those binoculars of yours. And for the third time we read it, we're going to try and figure out what's the most important information. All set? You bet. Mrs. Sutton had a number of pages to read for her homework assignment. Now in that first sentence, what's the most important information? You've got it. How to number. That seems pretty important. I should know how many pages I need to read for my homework. Linking me back to my target. Maybe that's my unknown start. On Monday, she read 156 pages. Stop. 
Did you hear any important information? So did I. What do you think? 156 pages. All right. So for the rest of the week, she had 200 pages left to read. <gasps> Pause again with another piece of important information. Correct. 202 pages left to read. All right. So now the next step is figuring out what's our equation. Now, if I go back to my learning target and success criteria, I know that today we're gonna to solve a subtraction word problem. So already in my brain, I'm thinking, what numbers am I gonna to have to subtract? Now I'm gonna reread my um, word problem one more time, and each time I'm gonna add on to my equation. Mrs. Sutton had a number of pages to read for her homework assignment, a number. Sounds like an unknown. Unknown means we need to find that out. Unknown. On my triangle, I'm gonna say that I don't know how many pages Miss Sutton started out with. On Monday, she read 156 pages. Hmm, she read. Hmm, so that means if I had a stack of pages to read and I read through 156 of them, then I must be subtracting. I'm taking away from the amount that I have to read. Makes sense because our target is subtraction today. I read 156 of them. So far, Oh, so for the rest of the week, she had 202 pages left. So, just like Red told me that I needed to subtract, so tells me that I need an equal sign. So, for the rest of the week, I, re I have 202 pages left. Awesome. Do we have our subtraction equation now? Yes, we do. Now here's our learning target. I can use an addition equation to find the unknown start of a, a subtraction equation. We definitely have an unknown start. Now it's our job to try and figure out what is our addition equation. So we have our unknown at the, at the top. That's our sum. Now we have to figure out our add-ins. I know for sure that the sudden myself ran 156 pages. And what did I have left? Oh yeah, going back to my important information, I have 202 pages left. Hmm. So if I wanted to turn this subtraction equation into an addition equation, what would be my new equation? Nice job, scholars. I knew you got it. Using that triangle, we know that one add-in plus another add-in will give us that sum. So we're going to turn this equation around and we're going to write 156 plus 202 equals our unknown. Now it's time to show our work. We've got this. We're going to use a couple different strategies to try and figure this out. First things first, let's try with base 10 blocks. I'm going to set up my thinking. In a place value chart. Hundreds, tens, and ones. I have 100 
five tens and six ones for my first add-in. For my second add-in, I have two hundreds, zero tens, and two ones. All together, that's going to give me, starting in my ones place, just in case I need to regroup, six plus two equals eight. Five tens equals 50. And three hundredths equals 300. So all together, that expanded form is 300 plus 50 plus eight equals 358. Now let's take it up a notch. What if we wanted to do it a more efficient strategy? Let's try out that open number line. Let's skip count. All right, I have my number line. 156 is my starting add-in, and I'm gonna jump 202 times to get to my new sum, or the unknown start. Here we go. I'm going to add 200. Hmm, 156. Skip count two times. 200. That gives me 156. 100, uh, 256. 356. Am I all done? Definitely not. I've only jumped my 200s. Do I need to jump any 10s? Any skip counting with 10s? Nope. Can you skip counting with the ones? Yes, indeed. Plus two. And that's going to give me my grand sum of 358. Now, what if I want to ramp up that efficiency even more one more time? Let's try that algorithm. 156 plus 202. Do I start in my ones, tens, or hundreds? Most definitely start in that ones column so that just in case we need to regroup, we have um, the opportunity to go to the tens and then to the hundreds. So six plus two equals eight. Five plus zero equals Five, and one plus two equals three. With each strategy, we came up with the same solution. 358, 358, 358. So if I go back to my original equation, 156 plus 202 equals 358. Now I have to make sure I'm answering the question. Let's see if it makes sense. So I'm going to go back to my story problem. That's how many pages did Mrs. Sutton have to read for her homework? Hmm, let's plug in our solution. 358. All right, now let's plug in that unknown start into the story problem. See if it makes sense while we read. Mrs. Sutton had... 358 pages to read for her homework assignment, okay? On Monday, she read 156 pages. That makes sense. Started with a big number, and then I took away a smaller number. So for the rest of the week, she had 202 pages left to read. That makes sense. All right, scholars. Thanks for joining me in solving an unknown start problem with subtraction and addition. I hope you are giving yourself a four so that you can teach your parents or your brothers and sisters, cousins, whoever wants to learn. I challenge you to make your own word problem this week that has an unknown start, but is also a subtraction problem. Have a great day.